Following up on yesterday's story about how fentanyl is getting into drugs of abuse and then kids are unknowingly taking it, in today's Your Healthy Family, we're talking with emergency medicine doctor Robert Lamb about how to spot a fentanyl overdose specifically and then what needs to happen quickly. So fentanyl is a synthetic opiate medication um, and it is 50 times more powerful than, uh, than heroin and 100 times more powerful than morphine. And so the reason why it's so dangerous is because it is so potent and only a small amount of fentanyl can actually cause a tragedy. The way that fentanyl works, and it particularly makes it dangerous, is because it is so potent, it affects our respiratory drive. And so patients that take uh, fentanyl can stop breathing and they can actually die from lack of oxygen. Dr. Lamb says the first signs of a drug overdose to look for are... You are a friend or family and you found uh, someone uh, that you think has overdosed, They'll likely be very, uh, they could be from deeply unconscious to less responsive to having shallow or no breathing at all. Those are definitely clues that uh, someone has overdosed on opiates. But how is a fentanyl overdose different from someone passing out from too much alcohol or another drug? The way that opiates act is they act within, centrally within the brain and they cause effects to different organ systems. And that's some of the things that we look for when we see a patient that suffered an overdose. One of the most common things that we see is what we call pinpoint pupils. So the way that that medication works is it causes your pupils to narrow significantly. So when we see a patient that suffered an overdose that has pinpoint pupils, we strongly suspect that an opiate is involved and that's actually a trigger for us to use this antidote, Narcan or Naloxone. If kids are at a party or in a situation where Narcan is needed and no one has any, calling 911 immediately is of essence when someone has stopped breathing for any reason and nearly all first responders now carry Narcan. So this is what we stock in the emergency department. This is what first responders have and this is what we hope to give to members of the community to actually be to actually save lives in the community as well because the sooner that we can give this to a patient that's overdosed the sooner we can actually save their life. Finally Dr. Lamb says even if kids are partying they shouldn't be afraid to call 911 if you recognize these signs of a drug overdose. If it's a fentanyl overdose it's likely the only thing that can save a life. For more on this story head to the online version for your healthy family Meyer Cronin. For more stories head to your healthy family.com.